Alright guys, today we're looking at the Ace Beam W30. This is, well not newly released, but released by Ace Beam recently. It's, you can see the 2,408 meters of throw. It's crazy. I've been waiting for this for a while. But, the first impressions of this is it's real light. You know, it's small. Compared to the big beast of the BLF GT, this thing definitely outperforms it and it's much, much lighter. I'm really excited about this light. I can't wait to get some beam shots on it. But the box it comes in is a nice little small box. You got a couple whatever diving. They just give you applications for it. It shows what it comes. It comes with a red filter. On the back gives you some specs, but we can go over there real quick. So we got it takes a 21700 battery. There's only one mode on or off in which lasts one hour and 45 minutes on on. It outputs 500 lumens at 2,408 meters of throw, which is crazy. And it has 1.45 million candela. So some of the features are 500 lumen brightness output. The max beam distance is up to 2,408 meters. Depth of diving related to 100 meters, so it can go underwater 100 meters. Powered by one 21700 micro USB rechargeable battery. So the battery gets charged directly off a micro USB cable. It has digitally regulated output and maintains constant brightness. So as the battery wears down, it won't get any dimmer. It'll just shut off in the end, which is nice, so it's regulated. It has a stainless steel tail switch. It uses a convex lens and toughen ultra-clear glass for, with anti-reflective coating on it. It's got a power indicator on the side, which is green or red, depending on the battery life. It's got a low-voltage warning. I'm assuming the red light flashes on the side. It's made of aluminum, Type 3 hard and anodized finish, tripod socket. It's got the quarter 20 mount on it as well. So let's open up the box and see what's inside. So on the inside you get a couple of little items here. There's a couple of these boxes. So in inside one of them we get some extra O-rings as well as this 18650 adapter so it fits into the 21700 socket so you can also use 18650s with this. With my experience it only works with button tops. Flat tops do not work. It's too loose. And inside this box we got a micro USB cable with a pass through so you can charge your phone or whatever you want if this is plugged into the the AC adapter into the, in the wall. It also comes with the lanyard. This seems a little bit better than the lanyard Ace Beam has supplied with their last flashlights. So I like that. They improved on it. There is the red filter for the light, which is just red glass and it just threads right into the front. These came on the flashlight itself, but I took them off. It's got the one hand grip where you hold it like this. You know, this holds your fingers. I, just, I took that off. It just slips on. It also comes with a pocket clip, but I took that off as well. So you also get some literature and a warranty card with it. So I guess you fill it out and you get a warranty if it breaks. There's a warning here about lithium batteries. Which we all know how to do that. Then you have the user manual. So an up close look at the manual shows some of the features as we've seen before. Although this one says it's beyond line of sight white laser flashlight. It lists the accessories here, what we got with it, the length and the width and all that, and the weight. It shows us the technical parameters again. Operating instructions, which is simply on or off on the tail cap. Battery indicator as well. Green light, which means the voltage is above or equal to 3 volts. Red light is below 3 volts, which, and then you should charge the light. It also tells us the warnings. It's a high intensity device. Don't point it in your eyes. Maintenance. Warranty, same old stuff we usually see in a manual. So moving on to the flashlight itself, our first impressions, like we went over before, it's light, it's small, it's easily pocketable if you have a big pocket, like a pair of cargo shorts or something. It's got a stainless steel bezel here. We have the light, which shows you the voltage on the battery, which is simply just green or red. Nice anodization, as always, with most flashlights here. We've got the logo here, the W30, and also Ace Beam. You can see the O-ring. This is where the one-handed operation device comes into play here. It slips on, you can grab it. The tail cap. You can see in the tail cap here, it's got nice big springs. PCB there. The stainless steel button. Real nice. It feels real good. Doesn't feel like it would mess up on you anytime soon. Down in the bottom. You can see the spring again and the other PCB with the screws. That's nice. Thick aluminum body. Square threads per usual. 
double O-rings, which proves the waterproofness. We also have the tripod mount here. And as we move on to the front, we see the LEP technology, which stands for Laser Excited Phosphorus. There's a laser in there that bounces off a couple mirrors. And then a little dot in the middle there, that is also a reflector or a mirror, which redirects the laser into the yellow part, which is a phosphorus. And then the laser, I guess, excites the phosphorus or lights it up, which in turn outputs light through the front. And then underneath this piece of glass here, which is AR coated, you can see in the purple, there's a convex lens, or I guess double convex like I've seen. And it, it, it's convex on both sides, which then gives you that nice tight beam. So here we have the battery that it comes with. It is 5,100 milliamp hours. It's a 20 amp drain IMR battery. This is a 21700. It is a little bit longer because of the charging device it has on top. This is a button top cell. I tried a different 21700 and it didn't fit. It was too, too fat diameter wise. So I'm not sure if they'll all be like that. But this ASP one of course fits. And it's just barely thinner than my other 21700. So keep that in mind if you have batteries. So as we turn it on here, you can see very small dot. You can see it goes on with one click and off with one click. And you can also hold it, depress it halfway and it stops. It feels like it has a stop in there so that like, you can have it momentary. So you can just kind of press it as momentary. You can get this light for $250 on Amazon. It comes in 6500K, 4000K or a high CRI 90. The 4000K version is yellow tinted which looks kind of funny, but it looks like a, a yellow laser, I guess you could say. I'm not sure what the high CRI looks like, but I can only assume that it's orangish as they show in the picture. So keep that in mind if you want to buy the lower tint. But now after all this, we're going to test out the Candela to see how strong ours is. And we're going to finally take it for beam shots, comparing it to the TN42 in the BLF GT. We'll see you there. Alright, so we got the lights set up on a tripod. And we got ourselves a little backboard here. I'm going to test out the locks. Let's see how high we can get it here. One sixty eight. I think 168 is the limit. So it looks like our unit puts out 1.68 million candela, which converts to about 2,600 meters of throw, or 1.6 miles.
So I hope you guys enjoyed those beam shots. And as you can tell, it greatly outperforms most of the other throwing flashlights of today as the TN42 or the BLF GT. And I hope this helped you guys either figure out if you want or don't want this flashlight. I tried to push the limits farther than 2,000 meters, but there wasn't much around that was much farther than that that I can see with my eyes. So I'll have to look for something else in the future, and maybe we'll make a new video on pushing the limits of this flashlight as far as it can go. I'll see you guys next time.